Hi guys! I know I start every video like this, but I'm sorry I haven't made videos in a few weeks, but it's been crazy. Um, me and my fiance moved into our own apartment. I don't live at home anymore, which has been a crazy transition, and all of them packing and moving and buying stuff for the apartment and uh, setting up bills and internet and electricity and all those things. And then just the past few months have been really hard, like getting used to having this job and all the stress and emotions that come with a new job and a new adult life and just everything's been kind of hard and my depression and anxiety and OCD have been pretty bad lately because of so many changes since I graduated college and all the stress and everything. And anyway, enough of that. Today I'm going to ta be talking about the Sabrina the Teenage Witch show, which is called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. And I wanted to talk about it when I finished it a couple weeks ago, but as I said, literally the day I was going to film that video, we heard that we got the apartment and so things have been crazy. But anyways, and also today seems to be the perfect day to talk about it since Netflix and Warner are being sued by the Satanic Temple because of the portrayal of the satanic religion or whatever in the show. So perfect time to talk about it. Anyway, I knew going into it that it was obviously going to be way, way, way different from the live action show from way, way back and the cartoon. Those things were really cheery and cheesy and I knew Chilling Adventures Obviously it's going to be dark, and also since it's in the same universe as Riverdale, so it's going to be crazy and dark. And I just, I knew that it was going to be a lot different and I was prepared for that. And I didn't go into it thinking, this is going to be the same thing. I, where's my cheery Sabrina? I didn't think that at all. I personally loved it. It's freaking creepy, scary AF, which I wasn't quite prepared for how scary it was going to be, but I honestly loved it anyway. It was really good. Like... It was kind of nice to see a darker side to that character and all of those characters and the story in general. You know what I mean? It was just, it was so good. The, the casting was perfect. The acting was great. They added way more depth and creepiness to the story than the original show did. I still love the original show, but you know. And it was just really interesting. And it was an interesting take on witchcraft and religion and it, it was very diverse, um, people of color, gender binary characters, bi characters, gay characters, like they had it all. It was great. I knew with Greg Berlanti it was going to be very diverse because he's good about putting a lot of diversity in his movies and shows. But yes, I was very happy about that. But honestly, like it was really, really, really good. It Like if you don't like scary stuff, it can be pretty scary at times, but I don't think it ever goes like into like super horror movie, Halloween or Friday the 13th or any of that kind of category or like, you know, paranormal activity, none of that. It is creepy, but it's a good mix of creepy and funny and stuff. So I think that you should try it. You don't have to watch the other Sabrina shows to understand this because it's a brand new intro to her character. And it's very much the same kind of feel as Riverdale, just a little creepier. But if you're watching this current season of Riverdale, that's creepy. So it's not much creepier than Riverdale. And they even mentioned Riverdale. Anyways, it's really, really good. And I think you should watch it.